Hey everybody, I'm Mike Grimm. I want to talk to you today about the Forensco contactless fingerprint system. Okay, this is it. All the crime scene and fingerprint people are looking at it like, what is that? Whoa. All right, I'll explain it to you. We talked today already about the Forenscope Patrol smartphone. We talked about the Forenscope CSI Pro smartphone. And we talked about the Forenscope tablet with the infrared capability. This device, those three devices are similar. This device is nothing like those three devices. Not similar at all, okay? This is for fingerprints only, untreated fingerprints on non-porous reflective surfaces. Okay, so it's a Canon camera with a 150 millimeter telephoto lens. Okay, that lens is zoomed all the way in. It goes into the light source device. Okay, this is an axial light source. So the light source is in here. Okay, it fires forward this way, travels through the device this way. Okay. So the light comes out, goes up, and it hits a mirror. And that mirror bounces it out of this aperture. All right, let me turn the light on for you so you can see. There's four light settings. There's white, there's blue, there's green, and there's red. Okay. The idea is you're using the, this light to create a reflection. So the light is coming out of here, going forward, hitting that mirror, bouncing out here, and the camera is seeing along the same axes. So some people call it an axial lighting system. Some people call it coaxial lighting. But the camera and the beam of light are sharing both axes. All right, does everybody understand that? So when I'm looking at the camera's viewfinder, I want to be able to see that spot, okay? I want to be able to see that. So I'll adjust my viewfinder a little bit here so I can see it. I've got some latents on this piece of glass, untreated, no prior treatment, no powder, no glue. Okay, there's a fingerprint right there. There's one. So I'm just going to take the picture freehand. All right, let me show you that. Zoom in here. So that's untreated off of glass. That's not powder. Those are the oils that are sitting on that reflective surface. Okay. So I'm trying to keep that spotlight, that spot that I'm creating right in the center of my viewfinder. Scan like this when I find a latent. Take a picture. Really easy. No processing. Look at that. That's awesome. My DNA is intact. I haven't touched the print with anything. No powder, no brush, no chemicals. Okay, so to make it a little easier for you to see, I'm going to plug the camera, plug the Canon camera into the monitor here. Okay. All right, so just to explain the principle behind it, that reflection, you can see it there. I'm trying to keep it in the middle of my viewfinder. 
I can see some fingerprints there. There. Okay. So I'm keeping that, that spot right in the middle of the screen. Everybody see that? Whoop. There it is. So right there is a fingerprint. All right, so that's freehand, no, no tripod. Watch this. Look at that. No processing. No processing ever. Not with this device. You don't, don't examine processed prints with this. This is unprocessed reflective surfaces. Okay. The beam of light is creating a reflection. It allows you to see the oils on the surface. So let's look at some evidence objects here. So I have a plastic CD case. It's reflective. So I can scan the case and there's a blatant right there. So I just take the picture. Look at that. Untreated. DNA is intact. No damage to the level three detail. Here's a compact disc. Let's see here. Here's my reflection. We scan the surface. There's some latency. There's a partial right there on the edge. Just take that freehand. You know you're square with the surface because if you weren't, you wouldn't be able to see the reflection. Look at that. And that's some detail. Really easy, great way to evaluate your evidence prior to beginning any, any processing, any destructive processing. This is totally non-destructive. Here's another piece of glass. Let's see here. The light timed out. There you go, turn it back on. There's some latency on here. Yeah, there's a real nice one. So just like that, freehand, and snap the picture. Wow. Wow. Look. Look. Can you do that now with your current capability? I bet you can't. You could, though, with this. The contactless. You need this. Every, every agency, every even small agencies need this. For your property crimes, your burglaries. Check this out. Here's a pack of cigarettes. There's no powder or anything on there. Okay? Watch. It's a laden right there. It's a partial. That's off the cellophane. No processing. Super easy. Non destructive. No damage to the DNA. I don't know if I'd say there's any level three detail in there, but if there was no damage to the level three detail. Here's a hard drive with a reflective cir circuit board. See that? No prints that you can see. Wait a second. Do my surface evaluation and say, hmm, I think I see some ridge detail. Where do I see the ridge detail? I see it right there. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Easy to use. Reflective surfaces, non-porous. You want, you want the reflection. The reflection's your friend with the contactless. Ooh. Okay, everybody can use this. Five minutes. Five minutes of practice and you're proficient with this. Promise. Anybody has any questions on any of these devices, let us know. If you want a virtual demo for your agency, let us know. And as always, 
keep buying all of our other products too, all of our evidence bags and fingerprint powder, our brushes. Mm-hmm. All right. Everybody needs this. Everybody be safe. See you soon.